Hey, guys, welcome back. It is story time. It's story time and interview time. I never thought that I would see the day where I would be interviewing a Pokemon scumbag in real life, but it happened. It absolutely happened. I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory first. There's a couple videos that you probably should watch before this one, but I'm going to give you enough information uh, that you can watch them, this one first if you really would like to. I'll put the links to the two videos about those down below in case you want to do them in order. It's probably better if you do, but you know what? Teach their own. So we have this nice little post. We have uh, Ultimate Poke Flute, who was featured on my channel before, being a scumbag, him and a buddy of his, being scumbags, uh, being crappy human beings uh, to an artist, one artist in particular. And uh, so he doesn't like me. So I'm in Charlotte. We're at a trade night of sorts at the hotel. We're hanging out. We're having cold beverages, as we do with the gang in Charlotte. And... Uh, <laughs> And of course, this this little troll, he comes over, he is, he's angry, he's like, fuck you, rattle Pokemon, you pussy wussy, well, he didn't say pussy wussy, that would have been funny, because then I'd know that he watches my videos, he said, you're a pussy, and whatever, and like, he was losing his shit, he was very emotional, um, he says multiple times in the interview that he, that he wasn't emotional about it, but he was clearly very emotional, um, emotional, much more emotional than I am, than I was, uh, so he comes over uh, the first time around. This is the this is the second time around. The first time around, he comes over. He's he's yelling at me, uh, kind of under the impression that he's gonna throw his drink at me, which would have been a bad idea. That's a police report and a charges pressed if he did that. Again, guys, don't don't physically assault anyone, no matter what kind of shady behavior they do. Um, keep it, keep it to words, keep it to videos, keep it to whatever you got to keep it to. Um, uh, but, uh, there's no reason for anyone to, uh, physically assault each other. You're just going to get yourself in trouble, uh, legally and, uh, with law enforcement, the cool, cool tip, cool tip for anyone, regardless of what you're doing, where you, whether you're the sketch ball or you're the person that doesn't like the sketch ball, that's what it is. So, um, he's yelling at me. He scurries off into the distance over to the table of, um, sketchy individuals, you know, the, the apple, the apple babies and all the other a uh, little bit like the really the really sketchy people the people that don't want to just tell the truth the people that buy stolen goods that kind of stuff that that kind of table the kind of people that are doing things that are not ethical the unethical table uh and chairs around it now i'm not saying everyone that was there was necessarily an unethical sketchy bad guy but uh either that or they were dumb and didn't realize they were surrounded by sketchy bad guys now um, second little altercation here. The first time he was probably about five feet from me, uh, when he was throwing his tantrum, uh, this time here where he took the, he took this later on. I don't know how much later on it was, maybe half an hour or something. Uh, he's in the distance. Uh, you can't, it's hard to tell from this picture, but he's probably like 15 to 20 feet away from me. Uh, some, some distance you can kind of, maybe, maybe somebody can do the math on how big his head is here compared to my entire body. Uh, the reason my, my hand, my hand here is blurry is because I'm going to flip him off. Um, I'm, and I do flip, I, I give him a little, mm, give, him, mm, give him one of those. Uh, but unfortunately it didn't make it into the, <laughs> into the picture. Um, so he posts this to his story thinking like, oh, I totally pwned rattle. I got him. I, I totally got him. Um, uh, and so I, I, I share it to my story as well. I just say a good way for more people to see this video showcasing how much of a shit human being you are. And I slap him with the old YouTube link, the link to the video showcasing him and his friend who ripped off a Pokemon artist. Well, it didn't necessarily rip him off, but did him dirty, did him very dirty, disgusting human being. Uh, and here I say, don't forget to tell the people how you ran off after telling me it's okay to fuck artists over if it's been a couple of years since they had an aneurysm. Uh, so yeah, that was one of his defense points there in his like little, little angry rant, the first visit. Um, and... <laughs> I never, I never thought in a million years I'd hear a human being saying it's okay uh, to do someone dirty, to screw somebody over um, who did something nice for you because it's been two years since they had an aneurysm. They're not in their, their health could be worse is what he was saying. I, I don't, I don't get it again. Uh, if he's upset about the fact that I'm going to retell that without video evidence, I was there. Many people were there. They can all attest to it. Um, and if he wanted to record it, he shouldn't have just kind of ran up to me and said dumb crap. Now, if you haven't watched these videos, please watch these videos. Um, please share these videos. What do you got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. Here, the first one. We got scumbags altering Pokemon artist signatures. So, uh, long story short, uh, for anyone that, that does not want to watch the previous videos, we have Ultimate Poke Flute, um, who, I guess here, first off, we have Opossum Bud made a video, um, on him. If I can find, there we go. There, no, there we go. 
that, that's part of the video. Opossum Mod made a video about him uh, doing sketchy things. Previously, he uh, essentially uh, brought his kids to signing events to stand in line all day uh, in order to resell those signatures. So, like, all right, all right, already on the like the sketchy end of things. K kids probably don't want to be in a line all day with the, just the premise of getting a signature that you're going to sell uh, to make money for your business. They're pretty dirty, pretty scummy, uh, pretty terrible thing to do. Uh, regardless, so we have the the opossum buddy, buddy, buddy <laughs> opossum bud video there. Uh, we have essentially um, so Rob, yeah, as you can see on the, the personalized cards here. Camilla always personalizes the cards, always, every single time, all the time, every time. We'll personalize them. He does not charge for them, which makes it even worse. He was in bad health, that makes it even worse. And he specifically tells everyone, including our boy Rob here, that you should not sell these. Please don't sell these. These are a gift. These are for you only. That kind of thing. Again, if it was somebody that was charging for autographs, I kind of see the argument that, like, if they tell you not to sell them, you, you paid the person to do it. Um, I mean, they also got it with Arita. Arita seems to care a little bit less than some of these artists. But, like, regardless here, we got, we got, we got some sketchy, sketchy individuals. Uh, and there were many examples, all of which should have been deactivated deactivated by PSA. They only deactivated the authentic ones. Uh, I think they have like authentic altered or some stupid crap on the other ones. PSA, smart the hell up. Deactivate all of these. Uh, it's disgusting that you even, after knowing what happened there. I mean, PSA from the beginning should have known that these were altered. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. All right, what else we got? Here's our boy Rob uh, when he has short hair. Um, and then we got Poke Flute. Well, we're going to see more Poke Flute in the future. Um, here's Rob when he has uh, dreadlocks or attempted dreadlocks. I'm pretty sure dreadlocks are... Those look like really bad dreadlocks, but maybe just didn't know what he was doing. Uh, I'm not a dreadlock expert, but <laughs> if you want to watch these videos, uh, yes, that is um, not them talking in the video. I had to mouth it over, but don't worry because we're in, we're in store for a beautiful video here about an hour that i sit down with our boy here poke flute brandon varela uh and he's going to explain how i was totally wrong uh he's not just gonna further embarrass himself yes is it repetitive yeah it's kind of repetitive it's, we didn't really learn anything new he's not sorry for what he did spoiler alert that's that's pretty much what you're gonna get out of this video uh but regardless um as i said to him and anyone else uh, if I say that I'm going to essentially like record an interview uh, or a conversation uh, to be aired as sort of a, I don't even want to call it a podcast or something. I, uh, am, I, am I turning into Jerry Springer? We're going to have to get like a, a couch and a setup and a, well, we have to get the, the Steve bodyguard dude uh, to make sure that when people are like tossing chairs at each other, if anyone hates each other really bad and wants to make like a Jerry Springer type episode, please reach out and let me know. We'll do it. So to make things before we get into the the interview itself, I'm going to give you guys a little little spoiler of what happens at the end here. Um, he forgets his bag and good guy rattle and friends um, instead of stealing his bag, tossing his bag over the railing, telling just leaving it there, not telling him anything and letting someone else steal it. Guess what? We are, we, we are such good Samaritans, um, and I'm glad that uh, that I surround myself with such good Samaritans uh, that we we even let him know that his bag. I called him. I called him four times. Uh, he would or twice, I guess. I called him twice. He wouldn't answer. Uh, he says, "Sup? I'm busy." And I said, "You forgot your bag, MN. Thank you. I'm turning around." I said, "Come grab it, and we'll make sure it stays here." And he says, "Fr. Thank you for that. Prayer hands." So. Again, now he comes in and I say, I'm just going to talk to him. I'm like, hey, Brandon, if you ever decide you're going to change your ways, let us know. It would be great if you could do so. Um, maybe maybe this would be like the lesson. This is like this is the moment where he like can turn his stuff around uh, and just like stop being a, an absolute dick, uh, essentially ruining uh, relationships with artists and, and customers, 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 I guess customers that are signing fans any of that sort of stuff, especially with an artist that doesn't charge for their signature. I mean, that's their choice. If they wanted to charge for their signature, they could. Um, but um, again, it's just it's just disgusting actions by disgusting people. And hopefully at some point, I mean, there's there's certain points where uh, I'm going to talk to him in, in the uh, 
in the conversation here. And uh, it almost seems like he's just he's just about there and realizing that like he does feel bad about it. Uh, maybe he just doesn't want to admit it. But regardless, here's the conversation. Here it is in its entirety. Hopefully the background noise isn't too bad. We, again, we were at like the trade night area, the, the trade night, unofficial trade night, the night after the trade night. Um, so uh, if it's uh, if it's noisy, my apologies. But we uh, that's what we were working with. I'll try to reduce the noise in, in editing. But, uh, but yeah, here it is. One more thing I forgot. There was uh, when he was going outside, he was on the phone and he uh, he mentioned, oh, Rattle like almost redeemed himself by telling me that my bag was here. And then he had to tell me that I could clean up my act. <laughs> guys, guys, I promise you, I have eyes and ears everywhere. I wasn't outside. Someone was outside. If people overhear stuff, if you're doing something shady, I will hear about it. Just just know that. You gonna stick around for a while? Yeah. Maybe. We can get a, an assistant to uh, to make sure. To make sure about. Oh, it. just if you need another drink. Oh, I appreciate that. you. This yeah. is cool. I, I'm getting actually like a lot of love right There's now. There's no official no official assistant or anything like that, no, but. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, where do you want to start off? Um, what I, I I really want to start off by uh, by just stating the fact that uh, that I'm not a scam straight up okay so the the whole initial Nothing, aspect no of, part of anything that you've done is a scam whatsoever I mean you, you're over here saying that me like selling these autos that I was okay. not disclosing that I was you know wiping the signature before okay. selling them, which is completely false false narrative okay but did you disclose it to anyone involved you disclosed it to anyone you sold it to everyone you disclosed it to the grading company I, I, no, I, the, I wasn't selling it to the grading company was I no, but good, I mean, like, if you trick if you trick the grading company, as we've seen recently, if you cut a card in half right, and right, send right. it into them, right. they're gonna ban you because it's against. I their mean, own if they want to ban me, they can ban me. That's all on them. But is it not like altering a card? It is altering a card. But whenever I disclose that I'm altering a card to the person, yeah, but buying, if you alter they, a card yourself and you submit it to a grading company, yeah, the grading company, by all means, okay, okay, has always all right, had a, a right. history of, guess what? We remove the card, we deactivate the cert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah, they won't they either have. because they they fucked up and they graded the card after I altered it. Yeah, but so people just cut up cards. So realistically, they would pay me money to get off people the that market. Fake That's the cards. insurance policy that they have. People that altered cards yeah. and they get submit, they deactivated them. That's fine. It's not. It's their fault. Yes, as a grading company, they yeah. should catch that. But also at the same time, they all have terms and conditions right, that right, right. require you to not be deceiving them. If you're the person that altered the card. Okay, so if you want to say I'm scamming PSA, fuck it. I scam PSA. Like, who okay. the fuck really cares if I scam PSA? Right. Like, they scam people all the time, giving them shit ass grades. And when you regrade, you constantly can regrade and make sure you like you get a better grade at the end of the day when, once you go over and over again, rinse and repeat. I do yeah. it all the time. Scamming I think, PSA, I think, by the way. I think that's more incompetency than it is What's them scamming. What do you mean? What, why, why do you have so much faith in PSA that they're scamming you rather than they're just incompetent? I'm not saying PSA is scamming you. I mean, yeah, they are incompetent, but at the same time... No, they're incompetent. Did, did you know that PSA employees... I feel like that's a scam, being incompetent. They make no less than a scam. dollar an hour more than a McDonald's employee. The PSA does? Yes. Oh, so that, Entry so, level grader okay, so is going to make less than a dollar. Listening to Rattle, he's calling you straight up incompetent, just so you know. Yes. And, and y'all should be given better grades. <laughs> it's also the, the parameters that are given to them. Yeah, it's not yeah, necessarily yeah. an individual grader's fault mm -hmm. that they're brought in and they don't okay. have the expertise that they claim to have. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, it's not their fault that they didn't know that the card was altered, right? Right. Right, right, right. But if they know afterwards and you're saying to them, like, hey, yeah, I scanned PSA yeah, so by altering a card. Like, okay. you can't use chemicals on the card. Okay. I can personally if I want to. You can like, personally. If it's, if it's, if it's your own card, you can do whatever you want to. It yes. doesn't, amen, amen. We'll Thank get into you. it, but it's, it's more about ethics here than anything What's else. What's the ethics behind it, brother? I ex Whenever I went to sell the card to the collector, yeah. the person that, at the end of the day, mm. held the card whenever it was the transaction was done, mm. he was happy with his purchase, knowing that PSA was scammed and that card was altered anyways. Like, he still right. wanted that card mm. and paid more money for it nine times out of ten. Did, what did you tell the, the, the buyer? I told them I altered the card to take the personalization okay. off because we don't want anybody you, else's name on a card. Did like, you tell them where you got it? No. What? Did you tell them that you got it from a friend? I mean, why, why does it matter where I got it from? Well, it does matter because to who? it's to a very, who? To you? To everyone. To I don't you. think I don't to think you it matters. No, 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 does no. It matter no. to there, you where I got the card from? There is not a single person on this planet. No, no, I want to know. We, I, why, 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 why are autos, why are autographs important exactly. to anyone? It doesn't matter to anybody else where I got the card from. If 
if I'm selling. I just want to know. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm asking them, not you. I, I, I want, I want you to say like, why do autos matter to collectors? I mean, it's it's what's a piece the, of memorabilia. Matter? I mean, right. at, at, and at the same time, it's a sketch and auto. It's artwork, right? Okay. And when, whenever you get to to autographs, you're looking at more like. So niche. you're not full disclosure. You're saying that you're partial disclosure. What's partial disclosure? I am partial full... disclosure is you're not saying where it came from. You're oh, just saying wow. that you so wiped okay. it, you wiped the personalization. Okay, so that's Did the you wipe off two if that's trainer? That's partial disclosure. Sure, that's partial disclosure. But whenever you ask yeah. Swopoke where he sells his cars, where they come from, I mean, does he give any disclosure? No. Swopoke sells cars all the time. If he's if he's Whoa. throwing it to a third party auction or some shit, so he doesn't get he, so what? I'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. about it rather than be a right. staff member and get my staff signatures and all this other stuff and turn around and like under the radar sell them okay. and just because I'm not open about it, it's okay. And mm. that, no, that's that's but that's scamming. I, 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 in my I, opinion, that's I, I, a I, scam. I feel like you're scamming I feel like that's medicine. that's deflecting a little bit. What's you're deflecting? gonna say like, oh, somebody's doing something else that's something different than what I'm doing, what but is, it's kind of similar. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. If you're talking about you think, ethics, did, did, if you're talking did about ethics, huh? Did Swalpog wipe Camille's signatures? No, he didn't. But that's okay. A, that's did he his, wipe any signatures? But that doesn't mean that. Did he wipe any? No. What does that have to do with my cards? Wiping though? them is because it's personalized so, okay, for a reason. So, so but that, what's but, the reason for them personalizing the cards? No, no, no. Listen, listen. You're, you're, you are going way off topic. No, no, here. no, no. This is entirely on topic. No, the, the, the whole, okay, the whole the, thing, the whole video, the whole videos that I've made on you were to do with the fact. That you were wiping signatures yeah, off a card. Yeah, and they were also due to the fact that you said I wasn't telling people about it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Which I was. Right. Every so card I saw. It's, right. It's also, right. It's also okay, different. So you heard that. Right. So it's what, okay. You did can you, admit did when you're wrong. Them? Right? Did hey, you, you tell them? You can admit when you're wrong, right? Please. You don't. Can you don't, please? Don't gaslight. Can you please? Hey. Answer the question. Seriously, am I a scammer? Am I a scammer for yes. that? For that? Yes. For what? For, 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 okay, go ahead. Continue. The whole process was a scam. You scammed the artist. And you left out information on purpose for the grading company and the buyer. Okay, so when did I ever have conversation I'd love to, with the Can I talk to the buyers? Will you send me the information of the buyers? I, I can, yeah. I mean, Tell them to I reach will, out to I will, me. I will reach out to the buyers. Chat, if you're in here and you are a buyer of any of the yeah. causes and you would like to talk, let us know because Rado would like to reach yes, out to you. He, he wants to know the information that I gave to everybody. Hey, for that matter of fact, if you inquired about an autograph from me ever, 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 let me know if I did not disclose that I altered the card first, please. Because I know for a fact, anybody, that's what I, that's, that was the biggest thing I prided myself on. Okay. Was the fact that I could alter these cards okay. and be honest about it. Right. Rather than having to turn around and go under radars, maybe not, maybe not, you know, for swiping mm. the card, but for selling the card. Yeah. Because so many people are going under the radar whenever they have the privilege of being able to get these signatures by the right. artist, and, and they are buddy buddies with the artist. Okay. And then they turn okay, like that don't matter. Wait. And, and they so do you had a friend that was buddy sell. buddy or pretend buddy buddy with the artist? No, he was buddy buddy with the artist. There was no right. pretend. He is buddy. Well, buddy he with was the he was pretend because you don't you don't have an no, artist there was tell no you pretend. hey there don't was no pretend. please please do not sell these. I'm sending the, these to you he, as well, a friend. He, he didn't sell any. Straight up, he did not sell oh, any. Oh, so he traded them to you. He did. Tra he did not trade them. He gave if them you to you. He gave them to you the to wipe them. You honestly want to know the, the dude lied more than you do. No, he does lie, and I don't lie at all. So, okay, and the, and okay the so he didn't lie to came, you either. No, and the lies that he came out with were trying to defend him at the beginning of the whole scenario. No, the dude. And it's, and it's the dude is a bad liar. It, like you're a bad liar, but he is a terrible okay, liar. Okay, so so let, let me let me go ahead and conversate. So when it comes down to the entire story of how I got the autos. I did not pay a single dime for these autos. I did not. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't trade him anything. I'm pretty anything. sure there was a trail of that. There was no And he trade. mentioned that you did pay for them. There was a, no, I bought an art piece. So he was lying about you paying for them? I bought an art piece, yeah. Right, the art piece that was also personalized. That's all he said I bought because that's what I bought. Right. Yeah, that's it. But the other stuff came as like a freebie. So no, it was like the a technicality. No, the other stuff was not a freebie. The, okay, so you want to know what happened? Yeah. I can talk. Will you let me talk? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so he comes to me as a whatnot seller and he was like, yo, do you have a Galarian Slow King? And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't have one, but I can get you one. Why? What's up? He's like, yo, I've been talking to the artist for a long time. Me and him are really good friends. And he said that I could send him some cards and he would sign them. And I was like, oh, shit. You know so what? So he sent them for you. What? So he sent them for you? So, so let me finish. Okay. So right. I was like, yo, instead of you buying it, I will straight up like buy you your card. So, I mean, if you want to consider it a trade-off, so sure. He, so he was middlemaning. I mean, he got the cards. There's no way I got the cards. Yeah. Anyways, so obviously, so I, I told him, I was like, yo, if you want to, I'll buy you three cards mm -hmm. if I can send my cards. 
and he was like, okay, cool. So I bought him three cars that he could send. They were high quality cars, and then I sent my high quality cars. So okay. we all got our stuff together. So you so paid you wanna, him. So you no. indirectly paid him. You yeah, bought him you cars. Call, yeah. Okay. So if you want to call that. So you paid him for it. But at the end of the day, if somebody is giving you all these, all, the opportunity to get all these autographs, you're going to return the favor in some right. way. Right. Yeah. So. But it, it was I a mean, payment. It's not a payment, but it, yeah, I guess you could say it was it a was trade. It was a payment in goods. It was a trade. If you want to say it's a trade, I'll, I'll take that. But I did not pay him a cent. So, anyways. Okay, so just because it wasn't monetary value. Yeah. You spent money on those cards that you gave him. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, so you paid but him for I it. I didn't it, pay him, no. You repaid him. Did no, he ask did you to buy them cards? No, he didn't ask me to buy the cards. You just I did offered. it as a favor. I offered, yes. Okay. Completely So offered. you repaid him. No, he never paid me. So how was it a repayment? He paid you in the fact that he was providing the service to send these to Oh, me. sure. I mean, Did he tell it, Camilla that they were for you? Sure. I mean, I don't know the details of no, what he, he... didn't. I don't know. No, don't, he didn't. Don't, well, don't, no, he how didn't. are you out here? Did they were in his name. They were in his did name. You, I mean, obviously, but did you see their conversation at all? Come you, on, did you? Did, did you I see, see him their and Camilla's no, conversation? No, no okay, but I've, I've, seen, I've seen time and time again Camilla conversation, Okay, but this is where he, he, got, this is where he got in trouble the first time. He tells by everyone. By making these claims these are for without you. having any evidence. Because these. you came out here saying that I didn't disclose Would this you like to show me without them? any evidence. Would I like to show you? Fuck, yeah. that's not my business what he said to Camilla. Well, I mean, so we're going to take the word of a liar? I mean, I can't do that anything. That is selling them to Yo, you, basically? I can't do anything about what he has to say. Mm. That, like, what do I have on that? You're just giving, you're feeding me more information. I'm you giving you everything. Okay. I'm being completely... Honest. But like, the, what else do you want me to do? That's, that's not honest. <laughs> you're just saying that you didn't pay for them, but you're like, oh, let's here take you're some. You're saying you're taking out of context. As you, I mean, can, whether it was a cash, like a little, whether you put cash okay. in his hand or it was an e-transfer, it's the same fucking shit. Okay, call it payment then. Fuck, I don't give a shit. You everybody, paid him. Okay, you paid him to submit. You can call under, it payment. I don't give a so shit. So not only, you, not only did you deceive him, but you deceived him in the fact that. You guys know that I traded this guy these cards. You can come in closer if you want. Just so as anyways, long as it's out of the camera. Anyways, go ahead. What else did you have to hit on, please? How else am I a scammer, please? Okay, so you scammed Camilla. You, let's, Dude, go la, let's, go la, let's go back to let's go back. Let's go back. How did I like? How if I scam Camilla? You're talk paying. About you're paying. That, you're going no, through someone and me. paying Let me talk. Them. Let me talk. Can I you talk? just ask me a question and then you're like, okay, let me talk. Holy fuck, dude. Chill. No, go ahead. How did you scam Camilla? Yeah. You indirectly did. You paid somebody to get autographs through yeah. them under false pretenses. But because how, they were they I... were addressed to him. You paid him Yo, via so card. That was the thing. That was the thing. I had no idea at the time that cards that you got signed would even be personalized. Because this was before Arita. This was even before Arita. So I had no idea anything you, within the autograph so you didn't, industry. You didn't, see the, you didn't see the fact that he had them beforehand. Because he was getting them before you were introduced. What do you mean? You didn't see the fact that they were all personalized? Who? Comis? How are you the audio? You're the autograph guy, but you don't fucking know that he always. I, dude, he you know always how long I've been in autographs? Tell exactly. me. Exactly. Whenever a started. Right. And that you're was already you're the already on the fucking the shit list. Will you, will you just like let like? Yeah, go. So go. it was literally the same time. It was literally the same time I got into Arita. It was the same time I got into Arita that mm. I just got the Tomo Causes. I got the Aritas, and then yes. it, like not even three weeks later, the Tomo Causes came back in. But when they came in, mm. I had no idea they were going to have Rob's name on it. And before Arita's event, we didn't really know much about personalization. So either. Rob lied to you and said they wouldn't be No, Rob had no idea either, bro. Nobody knew that it he was going to be personalized. He had cards before that. No, who? He was a friend? He was who? a friend all this time? And he was just like, okay, first ever submission. Yes, I'm this is the first time some... he got signatures from Comia, duh. It was the first time ever. Yes, where did you but get But he promised, other information? he promised you, and he got them all at once. Why are you making these assumptions? Like because the two of you are fucking liars and didn't provide the okay, full information. Okay, we're liars, so you can go ahead and, and make up stories. So you yes, know that we've done this. You before. contradict yourselves. In, Where do we contradict ourselves? In the text that you sent to me. No, no, we I don't go, contradict anything. I mean, we can go back and watch the footage. And I we don't can watch care the about we your can footage. Look at the, like your we can look through the DMs. And chop and edit everything. And if you want to look, I at don't chop and edit everything. This will be in its entirety. Go ahead and look at the DMs. My thing is. Let's go back to last night uh, when you were doing your little fancy shit when you were, like wanted to take a, uh, a selfie. Uh, no, you, uh, I don't want to talk about that. What, what do you mean you don't want to talk about that? No, I digress from how that. How about before that? When you, uh, okay, how about you before that? You want to talk about it? Let's yeah, about let's it. go about before that when you said that it was okay. He had an aneurysm two years ago, and that's, that's an excuse. When did I say that was okay? 
You said that people can function after they have an aneurysm after like two years later. No, I'm so saying, it's, I'm saying it's okay life that goes you guys on, fucked them over. I'm saying life goes on. Yeah. Like plenty of people have aneurysms and live on another day okay. to never speak of it. Okay, so just and like the fact that, that he's in poor health. you to be all up in his health records and how do you even know this? Because I had no idea he even had an aneurysm. Why are you trying to get his autograph? What? Why are you trying to why flip his autograph if you know so nothing wait, wait, wait. about the artist? Where did you hear about his health conditions? And why? How, how did you know about it and I, I didn't? I hear about everything. And why am I trying to... You're supposed to, to be... I'm not even a signature expert here. No, so I'm I supposed appreciate to know... The art. So I'm supposed the to artist, know the guy's health but, records? Like, I, I don't know shit about Comia's health. And at the end of the day... Okay. And at the end of the day... But your friend, who is a friend of his... He didn't know either. How are we supposed to... He's a to friend that didn't know about it? He's not a best friend. It's not like he's sucking his dick, dude. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, I you act like they're best I, friends. I don't, they, you don't have to suck someone's dick to know that, like, if it, you're an artist, you're, if, if you're friends an with an artist, how you're many, like... Okay, so how many artists, like, in Pokemon do you know? Do you know any... How many people do you know that know artists? Plenty. Plenty? Do and they, they know, know them on a personal level? Okay, exactly. All right. Are they, are they, they in the DMs? Wait, wait, wait. Are they Swobro, sending them? Swobro, he got he got some uh, from Komia, right? Yeah. Yeah. So did he know that he had health issues? Yeah, probably. Probably. We can ask him. Or, I don't want to speak for him, okay, but I'm so, sure he does. Okay. So why would you speak for this, me and my friend that we knew? I don't know. Why exactly. would you not look? Why would you not Come look into now. it? You knew about it Come afterwards after my video. Can I hear the choir? Did the you choir. confirm that, that he does? That he had an aneurysm? I, I mean, I don't know if he did or not. Well, why are you stating that? I'm Maybe saying, you're lying. Maybe I'm you're, just, you're just taking my word for truth. Well, I, mean, I thought I was a liar I mean, and like I was making shit up whenever, for views. Whenever you do say he had an aneurysm and you try yeah. to you put play on words to make it seem like I'm taking advantage of some guy, when I had no idea about his medical history, and like I have no idea about what else is going on. You're literally trying to paint me as like this terrible piece of shit. Yeah, and, and I mean, you are. It's okay if you think that. Like the way you feel about me, it doesn't it doesn't affect me enough to like actually like stop doing what I'm doing. I'm still gonna alter the cards that have somebody else's name on them if they're my personal cards because that's my personal okay. preference. And you're gonna alter them and grade them. Yeah, I mean, I, I just with, with I PSA. Mean, PS, PSA still what grades. happens? What if PSA bans you? What do you do? I don't even send through my account. You know how many yeah. middlemen there are? Yeah. You don't have to send through your account. There's so many ways around it. They shouldn't have graded those to begin with. It doesn't matter. If, that's if not, there could that's be a signatures that aren't, aren't personalized, they shouldn't even be graded. Yeah, they shouldn't have been graded, but that's not my fault. Right. Like, so I, think, still, I still have So they mine. should deactivate them. I mean, if they want to deactivate them, they can, but I mean, I have, um, at the end of the day, they So what do you do? What do you do to a buyer? Should, should, you, tell a, should you tell a buyer? Oh. That there's a potential that they get deactivated? Sure. I mean, at the end of the day, most of my buyers don't buy they, the they slab, know? they buy the card. Right. So why and grade at them? This point, so why grade them? Because, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's good to know that when after I alter these cards, they're yeah. still fucking mint nines. I'm, hey. They're still clean. I do a good job. Hey, if you need your... your I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought they were scammers at PSA. Huh? You said they were scammers at PSA. Uh, I mean, I never... Whatever. You can say whatever yeah. you want. You, you, no, that was you said that. Yeah, you can say I said whatever you want. I don't. I just don't think that their opinion is worth as much as people. But I mean, I don't either. Like, yeah. One thousand percent. I think I know what a, a mint nine card looks like. I know what a, a, a gem mint card looks like. I can tell you what a, at least a seven looks like. Anything mm -hmm. under that is kind of like a washing area. If it's a six or less, it's kind of like hard to tell. Mm -hmm. But I mean, overall, I can tell what a mint card is. Yeah. And I can tell usually when an autograph is pretty authentic. I don't really need that authentication either. But for the safehood of other people. Whenever they don't understand what they're seeing, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? They they want some sort of assurance. And when it comes to autographs, right. I mean, regardless if it's if it's uh, graded or not, they will still mm -hmm. authenticate it if it's altered. Right. One thousand percent. I just sent four of them today. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like at the end of the day, it, it's not gonna stop them because everybody else that is doing this, they're doing the same thing. There's several of the people that went to Ariga that had were went as mules. Ariga. Ariga. Yes. Hitachi yeah. Ariga. Okay. They went as mules. And they went and got the cards for people that were staff members and stuff. I don't have specifics, but I yeah, do. Yeah, because people that hire other people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, but they were staff. Or people that go with their kids on a yeah, trip you know. and make them stand in line yeah, all day. Yeah, sure, whatever. But yeah. but, it, but it was the staff members that were doing it. You know what I mean? But they're yeah. out here at the same time. Like, it's okay if you're doing that. If you want to do that and you want to hustle, do your thing, okay? If you want to hustle and do your thing. But at the end of the day, if you're a staff member out here banning people from it, you have no right. They, do you want to know why you were banned? 
No, I know why I was banned. Why were you banned? Because I threatened to slap somebody. Right. So did you learn from that? Did I learn from that? I mean, I, I want to slap the shit out of you, but I'm not going to threaten you. No. No. But yeah. you shouldn't say I'm going to slap the shit out of you. No. Because that's a threat uh, yes. of violence. So right. I digress from that. Yeah. Right. So sure. I guess I learned my lesson, but I'm sure you learned your lesson as well before taking. But I mean, like you should have been, you should have been banned mean, for all the signatures. But I mean, but I mean, go ahead and interrupt me every time I have a good point. Go ahead. Anyways, go ahead. I'm, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to talk over here. Go ahead. No, all right, you are. so you're to talk over so your friend, your friend, this friend that you can trust so much that you don't have all the information from, that he's a liar. You claim he's a liar. I mean, I, I'm not gonna claim so, he's a liar. So you're just liar. like you're playing dumb with what he's doing. I'm not claiming he's a liar. I'm, I'm gonna say that during the point. But he's your friend, dudes. How much dudes, did you shut know him up before and that? Let me talk for a second, dude. Did you know I'm him not saying that? he's a liar. Rob is my good friend. Yes, okay. he's a very dear friend to me. I will say he's a crook. I will but. say during the time that you were messaging, messaging him stuff, he had lied, yes. He had yeah. said a couple things that he wanted to lie about to try and cover up the truth. At the end of the day, the truth is out there now. I'm sure right. Rob will even tell you now. The most of it. There's, I mean, there's nothing If he'd like to, now. he can show me the full DMs. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore, really. The only thing that matters at this point is that Rob is not, he's not a bad guy. I mean, he's, shit, at the end of the day. He's a pretty bad guy. He was selling something that he asked. Oh yeah, so he's out here. So for, any, for anyone that doesn't know or hasn't watched the previous video, the artist asked specifically and always does yeah, and, and that you please don't sell these. Dude, so these why, are for you. These are, are a not, personal gift for you. you Did not charge anything. Yeah. This is different. No, this, what's different? I, I see the argument if, a, if an artist is charging for the signature, yeah. then yes. Okay, I, I get it. Okay. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of justification there. This right. was a gift. And okay. he said, please do not sell these. Okay. All right, so I... And I, he's selling them through other people. He's not selling them through other people. In advance. In advance. He's sending your cards in to him to get signed that are personalized to him. But he had no idea about the personalization, so that's not... Okay, that's but not it's the case. same thing. He had no idea about that. So, it, it, but, so but, the, art, the, the artist was, says, so the please thing, don't sell these. So you shouldn't sell them, sure. Right. Sure. And I it's for free. Hey, it's for free. If the artist says you shouldn't, you shouldn't sell it. You shouldn't sell it. Right. Well, so you didn't know them? that. Rob didn't tell you that you shouldn't sell them. But he said, okay. "Don't sell these." I wasn't aware that I was not allowed to sell yeah. the cars until mm. after I had sent them to PSA. Okay. Once I had sent them to PSA, that's when I was made aware not to sell the cars. But then you did anyway. I did anyways. Yes. Okay. One thousand percent. I'm. I'm not ashamed to say that okay. either. Like, why should so I be you ashamed? So you didn't look into like the fact that hey, Camille always says don't sell the cards, these are for you. They're always like a personal thing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's nothing against Comia. Like, if, if you're sad for Comia, I'm, go ahead, be sad for No, him. it's, it's like, pretty I, disgusting. Okay, what you, you can be did. disgusted. You can think I'm a no. piece of shit. Everybody right. out there, you it can is. think I'm a piece of shit. So the two of you, but at the end whether, of the day, if you I'm, want to throw Rob under the bus, you're welcome to do so. Nobody, all right? Say what? Would you like to throw Rob under the bus right now? It was his fault. I, why would he's I the one, say that? So he's the one that scammed. Why, you're making these accusations, no, not so, me. You're trying to put words in either, my mouth. It's either Hell both no. of you scammed Camilla or he scammed Camilla. No, because if he's told, "Hey, please Dude, don't sell these," no. and you're giving him stuff I to submit call it cards a scam. for you, I mean, if you that's a scam. Say, okay, that's a scam. Regardless, we're not scammers. We're not out here scamming anybody else. I it's mean, just it, bonus points that he's in poor health. I mean, <laughs> for you, it's bonus points for you because you're getting all no, the views on that No, it's bonus points. It's bonus points. Because I don't give a fuck. I mean, at the end of the day, mm. he's okay in my eyes. He's not, he's not, I never knew that he had an aneurysm or anything. It's not that I don't give a fuck he had, didn't have an aneurysm. It's that I don't give a fuck that that's his talking point. Because at the end it's of the day, talking it, point. Was, it wasn't involved. Even, even if he was not sick, as far as any knowledge still very that, relevant. So I was not taking advantage of him for that fact. Mm. Go ahead. Still extremely relevant. Wasn't sick. Just out of respect for the artist. If he's friends with him, pretends to be friends with him, he fucked him over, he scammed him. He scammed Camille. Well, Whether or not you were in on it, because you paid to, to have those, if you'd like to throw him under the bus and say I'm like, I didn't know, I didn't know any he's of this my stuff. Friend. Why, right. would I, why are you trying to fucking So if he's such a great friend. friend and he's such a close friend, then you knew the whole conversation. I didn't you knew know. what the you no. knew what the situation why was. Why is it why are you saying because I'm a close friend I know everything? Okay, so it was his fault. Dude, I Whose did that. I never it? said that. Who's You're bought? literally so it's one or the other. Guys, can you can you guys please like try it's and one make the sense other. Of, of his words for me? I would like to know. Can you ask your chat who would buy an autograph that isn't sanctioned or that isn't like sanctioned, that right? that isn't approved by that has a shady past? Who shady past? That fucked over an artist. What who the shady, fuck? Wa who wants that autograph? So that is so people, that is so, so tainted. Is it tainted to you? No, no, no. That you is tainted not, to a lot of people. Your opinion is not fact, brother. Mm. No, your it is. Your opinion is 
not fact. Oh, hey, we, we can do a poll. Everybody we can do a poll. To, to Rattle's opinion, because it's fact now. Rattle's opinion is fact, guys. No matter what, he he. Go ahead, go ahead. You guys. Lou, you're to talking to me, baby. I'm, I'm Come talking on, to get these over guys. here. I was talking to these guys. I can talk to you. Yeah, you want, this is a conversation between you. us, not you and your chat. No. We can talk to Rob too if you'd like on a group call. I mean, that's up and then to you him. can talk to no, who. No, that's up to him. I'd be down. Right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I've been nothing cool. but honest. I don't I, think you I have. Literally, literally have. I have nothing. There's to something hide. there. Huh? Like either you knew about the whole thing or you didn't know about the whole thing. I and if you didn't know about the whole thing, Rob knew about the whole thing. No, nobody knew, brother. Rob knew he about the whole thing. He sent those cards with his name on it, and we were both like, "What the fuck?" Otherwise, right. he would have told me. He would have been like, "Yo, these cards are probably gonna have my name." The dude on it is a shit. fucking liar. Big time. Mega liar to the extreme. He lied about everything. He lied to you, maybe. Maybe well, told no. me, uh, he, he probably told him. He probably he lied to Kamiya? He probably said he, he wasn't going to sell him. Was, yeah. He probably said he wasn't going to sell him or he wasn't okay. going to trade him. So or it was he, a technicality. Or maybe he wasn't going to give any to anybody else if he said that. Mm. I don't know what he said to Kamiya. He maybe said something like that. But I, don't I know, know a lot of people that have Kamiya signatures. Who's a lot all, of people? Go ahead. All personalized. Okay, so who? I'm not name dropping anyone that has these. Why? We can go. We can go What's contact with, them. What, they, Find out. Let's, to let's have go them. look up. They're allowed to have anyone them. that's posted one. No, right. I want to know. They're allowed but to have them. They've been sent right? in good faith. I mean, do they still have them? By the artist. The people that got them, do they yes. still have them? Yes. I would like to see. Right. I would. I'll make a collection. I'll make a little like montage. I mean, I, I want to see like I want to know the people that have them, and I want to have like mm. like a, maybe like a something to know they didn't sell it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Not, not, not something saying okay. they haven't, yeah. like, you know, whatever. I want to know that they still have it, they got it, and they right. haven't sold it or gotten traded. It basically, it, it's basically a signature that shouldn't be sold because... Okay, yeah, for you, for, for you. For, for, for me, I've That's never seen an exception where he said it's okay to sell my signatures. Okay, but, I mean, him saying that, is, am I going to go to jail? Is that the law? Like, like... No, but it's disrespectful. It makes you terrible people for <laughs> okay. doing it. I, and I if admit, you knew everything from the start, which, out, if you're I friends... Admit, I admit that it being disrespectful, sure. And I would, if you want to say I'm disrespectful for that, yeah. we can, like, we can go with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay if you think I'm disrespectful But for some that. combination like, of I the two of you. I don't give a fuck about you thinking I'm disrespectful for that. Some combination of the two of you scammed him, and you scammed your buyer by not providing the full story about how they were obtained. No! Yes. Everybody knew. That's like, Everybody, oh, no, yeah, I sold no. them goods. They were stolen, but like, oh. They weren't stolen. They no, were my this, cars. This is an example. This is an example here. No, no. So what I'm saying is all these people knew that I, they were It was in bad faith. No. All these people you knew. You didn't tell all your buyers people, they were in bad faith. All these people and knew. And if they did, they were looking to pass it on to the next person. Listen. Will you listen? Yeah. So I can explain the, yeah. the, the things that tell you're trying to put in my bad, mouth? Tell me how it's not in bad faith. Entirely in bad faith. You're talking to me. I'm letting you talk. Yeah, bring it over here. Because you want to keep putting words in my mouth. Are you done? Yeah, go. Okay, so so you can't you can't you can't gaslight here. I'm not That's gaslighting. Are you done? Are, can you stop cutting me off, please? We're allowed to talk back and forth. That's how it works. You can't just every time I talk, you can't just be like, oh my god, you won't let me talk. You've been talking a lot. All right, I'm listening. We can play it back. Okay, I'm listening. It wasn't in bad faith. No, it was not in bad faith. It was in bad faith. Okay. It was entirely I mean, in bad I faith. The question. He, he, he tells me what it is. He tells me my answer. It's right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Every so time it wasn't I, Rob. Every it wasn't in I bad have, faith by Rob. You either got tricked by Rob and you're fucking an stupid. Answer, he has an answer for or, me. You, you know, he, you have, he has an answer for me. He's trying to fill the void of, my, of the question. Did Rob lie to you? Like he's prepped this shit, huh? Did Rob lie to you? I didn't prep this shit. I was busy all no, day. No, Rob, Rob lied to you. I... I prepped, the, I prepped this shit by making the video the first time. Rob didn't lie, lie to me, no. Okay, so he told you everything. He told me what he knew. Okay. Yeah. So he, you he saw the full conversation. Rob told me everything he knew. He told you that Camille said that they weren't to be resold. After, yes, after I received the cards, yes, he did tell me that. Before, okay. before I sent them to PSA, yes. Okay. And then I sent them to PSA. Right. With intentions of still selling a couple, yes. Right. Did he say don't sell them or don't give them to anyone else? Yes, he did. So that's and on he me. Did. Yeah, right. I did. Okay, so it's on Rob and it's on you. I mean, it's more on me. Right. I'm taking the hit. I mean, okay. I'm the I'm the guy that that sold the cards whenever coming in. And to be transparent, if you mm. want to say that they didn't know about the bad faith, 
everybody that I sold to, I also I told them that. I want to know what I you told them. them. I told them that the give personal, me the spiel. I what, told what them. Did you tell no, the people you shut sold up. To? I told, I'm time to talk. Okay. I told them that I swiped the card. Yeah. That I graded it with PSA and that it was not to be sold. So yes, they knew every single thing at okay. that aspect. So any buyer. You told them that Camilla said, "Don't sell this." Yeah. Please. Yeah. And there was, that and it was, was still there was personalized them, to your friend. Yeah. Okay. With the intention of reselling them to someone else. There was no re intention of reselling. They were them. going to the, the buyers that you that you that sold, I sold to. to? Yeah. No, I mean I didn't know what their intention was. Yeah. Okay. I had no idea what their intention was. I mean. I told them the stipulations of where it came from and how okay. I, I got it. And then you didn't tell them it was like a little risky that like it might get deactivated? No. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, they were deactivated. You already deactivated all of them. You already, you already I think some of them were. You already reported it, so all the authentic ones got deactivated. Yeah. 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 I don't know why the other ones weren't, but... Because they graded them. So they have right. like an insurance policy. If you look in, into the insurance policy, you'll know why. Okay. Because they would owe me money for it. <laughs> So they have to pay you back as a grader? I mean, they. I mean, no, they would pay me. They yeah, would have they to would pay, pay back, back the grading fees. Yeah, because it's not actually a, a mint nine. Yeah, so they would pay me the, the cost. So you don't think that's like embarrassing that like PSA? No, I think. No, I think. It's, I, th I, no, I, think it's, I think it's embarrassing on PSA's part. I mean, I don't care. I think it's embarrassing on PSA's part that sure, they don't sure, want to sure. pay you your grading fees back. Can you hand me my uh, Long Island, please? I appreciate you, brother. Marcus, right? It's Marcus, right? No, it's Far Fargus. 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 Hey, everybody, just a quick shout out to my man Fargus. Shout out to Fargus. Homie out here getting the drinks. Everybody show some love. Show some love. Yeah, so. But that, like, you got to see that it's pretty slimy. At the end and, of the like, day. And, like, you already have a record for doing slimy stuff with, like. What? Stand in line with your kids and all that other what shit. What is slimy about that, brother? I don't know. I can't imagine bringing kids to stand in line with me or, yeah. like. Yeah, well, yeah, you, uh, you didn't. I, I, did, you, okay, did, like, did you see the that's Dragon probably, Ball Z that's, line today? And how that, many kids were in that line? That's got to be worse. Are you making videos about all them? I just want to know. How many were kids they, were, were how they many, there how by many themselves? Kids were in line to for themselves? To sign today? I want to know. Were they there for themselves? They didn't have to because once you get there, you can get as many as you want signed. Like, right. you, you can have as many as you want. So there was no limit. There's no right. need to, like, but, but they were still like standing in line. All the kids were still there. I don't think any of the lines were, like, limited by any means, though. What do you mean? No, but they were standing there all day. Okay. Okay, so same situation. Is that yeah. slimy? I think is it it's slimy? Was yes somebody, or no? was somebody the getting holidays. them to get them signed? Yes or no, is it slimy? I want to know. I, I think if a father brought their children to go get things signed for them, for a personal benefit, if they were going to resell it, slimy. Okay. 100% okay. slimy. All right. That's okay. If it was for the kid, if he wanted, if they brought their kid okay, there so, to get their own thing so signed that the for money, them. What about the money I get for it? Like, I mean, obviously I do shit for yeah. my kids. Like, my okay. kids are not gonna appreciate. Yeah, the but you can also you can also get an actual a job. A trampoline or some shit like that. Of yeah. course I could get an actual job. Right. But I make good money, and this is an actual job. I mean, right. It, I mean, it is. Yeah, but like, it the is. only thing is, is like, should you just do it honestly, or do you not make I mean, them enough money? I mean, that I way? tell people the truth. I don't know what. Yeah, what I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I do. Where am I dishonest if I'm not disclosing? I don't know. The two of you I've lied done. to me. I lied. I, mean, I didn't lie to you. He, Rob, lied to you. Yeah, maybe. Right. And yeah. you withheld the information to well, me. During and the, also during to the, the, time, the people that during you During the time I was trying to like maybe fill out what you were trying to say. Right. Because at the same time you because were also. Because you were trying to hide something. No, because. Because you felt guilty. Dude, deep see, down. He, deep down, everyone has a conscience. Because I did this. Because I did that. Like, dude, quit putting these emotions in me. Who's saying that I felt guilty? No, you should. I obviously don't feel guilty if I'm sitting here telling you that I altered these cards and graded them. And if you want to think I'm a piece of shit, I don't care. Why do I feel guilty? What reason do I have to feel guilty, Rattle? I don't understand what, well, like, you're- I don't know. Just like, because, I, look, I would feel so, like, so look, look, bad. Look at this. So look at this. Yeah. If, you, if you look at the military you and you have see to take, how many you have people to take they advantage. kill, Okay. And then, and then they, don't the, give, they don't give a the fuck. That's the comparison here. Uh, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Okay. Are they still slimy and shit? Like, yeah, yeah their opinion. So but we're gonna, does your we're opinion gonna, gonna we're gonna change blame it? government and wars. No, I'm, I'm talking or, like, about the I'm, fact that you're no, gonna I'm on a personal level, the two of you are I'm gonna fuck about over your an opinion. artist. I'm talking about your right. opinion. It doesn't matter if you think it's slimy or not. Like, it, it's, yeah. it's still happening. Like, and it's not gonna stop. You know what I mean? And at the same time, I'm not doing anything illegal or unethical. At the same time. I'm being honest with my buyers, transparent, and everybody that's buying my cars that are altered, they're happy with them. Bro. I mean, it might be borderline. It might be. It might be borderline fraud. Money. What's fraud? Is it fraud to add a first edition stamp to a card? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm. I'm. 
It is, is if it? you don't disclose it. To, I mean, sure, if I put okay. a first edition stamp on a card, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And I don't disclose it yeah. to that person, yeah, that's fraud. But okay. if I put a first edition stamp on that card and I tell that person, hey, this is probably not, this is not a real first edition. That probably stamp, not real or no, not no, real? No, this is not real. I tell them Probably up, wiped or not wiped? No, I did tell them it was okay. wiped, regardless. So okay. I tell them, yo, if, if this card has a stamp mm -hmm. on it, I put the stamp on it. I would appreciate it if you can put me in contact with everyone you sold to. I'm sure you would appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> I, I, they don't have to respond. No, they don't I mean, have to respond. But I'd love no, to see. Gonna, I'd love to hear from listen, them. I'm not gonna risk my clientele for your benefit. Okay. Why would I do that? If you'd like to reach out to them and personally tell them yeah, they can talk yeah, to me if they'd like to, and if they'd like to back you up as a genuine I will reach seller. Out to all of my clients, and okay. I will say, yo, if you want anyone to that bought the signatures battle, were wiped. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. So and I mean, what card it was or whatever. Yeah, sure. If they want to talk to me. I just like to know if they want to make a statement and say like, hey, he told me this, this, and this. He told me start to finish. Yeah. Tamiya doesn't actually let you, or he doesn't. Why, why, he doesn't. He, he doesn't, basically he basically says, please do not send these or sell these to anyone else. Okay, so so is he wrong for buying them then? Would he be wrong for buying them? If he had all the information, kind of. If he has the intention to resell it. No, but he didn't have intention to resell it. It's I just, personal. I just it's think, personal. I just think that it's like it's, it's personal though. It's tainted. It's tainted. It does, that's your opinion, though. It's personal. Right. It's personal. It's your personal right. opinion. Not everybody shares that opinion. But also, though. like, if people and like you, don't you, even, you don't if people like you didn't ruin the relationship, you and Rob, if you didn't nah. ruin the relationship with these artists, someone could send that to the artists themselves. They could reach out to the artists themselves, and he would probably do it for free for them as well. Yeah, probably, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, but you've ruined it for them. I mean, you 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 were the one that blew that shit up, brother. And so right. if, if he was the one with health problems and you knew that and yeah. you still put all this out there to cause him more stress, who's really the bad guy? Did I cause him stress or did I prevent him from getting ripped I off mean, by a couple con artists? What do you mean? You didn't prevent shit. Because obviously we still got the job done if that's what it Were is. Were you still getting them artists. from him? Huh? Were you still getting them from him? Was I still getting promo? Or is Rob still getting them from Camilla? I, I don't know. He could be. <laughs> I hope not. Hey. Stay is tuned. He? Stay tuned. Is he? Stay tuned. You might see some more comedians. Ruin it for everyone. Dot com. <laughs> Maybe everyone but, but Don't Rob. go there. Everyone it might, but it Rob. might be a bad site. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. At the end, right. At the end, I just so I just think that you can make an honest living and you don't need to necessarily rip people off. I'm not ripping nobody off. You're ripping them off. You're ripping off the artists. Okay, dude. I can make an honest living. Okay. Do, sure. Do, by you, not by, by doing something by not else. Doing that with the, by not selling a car Autos. that. The artist doesn't want me to sell. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I don't make a living right. off of selling autos. I make okay. a living from selling Pokemon cards. Right. I sell autos with the fact that I sell Pokemon. But you Pokemon can make a little cards. bit extra money in there and you just Fuck go yeah. for it. I make a lot more extra money. What do you right. mean? Yeah, obviously. So it's a monetary incentive to just do something dirty, to do an it's artist not dirty. dirty. No, it's I, dirty. Okay, for you it's dirty. It's a dirty copy. For you it's, it's dirty. dirty. For me, I see it as there's a lot of people out there that appreciate Komiya's artwork. Even you. Right. You made a YouTube video like two months right. before all this shit happened. So I do. I appreciate the artist. I do too. I like and when someone I mean, I disrespects them the way I, that you two have. I appreciate his art, okay? Yeah. And, and to say I appreciate the artist, sure, I appreciate the artist, but maybe I have a little bit level, a different level of respect for him than you do, mm -hmm. right? Because I mean, do I, you? Yeah, I do. I have a different level of respect. I, I don't think so. I'm saying in a lower standard. You have a in higher a lower level. standard? Yeah, you okay. have a higher okay, level okay. of respect for him. Because right? you would respect him for money. I and to make money. No, I respect him for his art. Yeah, I, I think don't, it, I don't respect I, him for I his I think game, it's like pretty sad that aspect. a lot of these artists don't make a lot of money. What do you and mean? The, Komiya, they don't. Komiya could make so much money off of his art. He right. Okay, so Komiya actually did like the art exhibition. They're also very limited so on the, what they can produce we, we, based on the Pokemon okay, company. So I'm sure you know all this because you're the signature expert. I don't know any of that, but what I do know, okay. what I do know is that he had an art convention back in mm -hmm. January, I believe. Yeah. And he wasn't signing any Pokemon cards or anything. Mm -hmm. It was no Pokemon. It was just his personal art, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever you went to that that art convention yeah. and you seen Kom Tomokazu's artwork compared to everybody else's artwork, even Saito, Saito was there. Yeah. He was selling his own artwork, Shikishi's, for $250, $300, okay. whatever. Komiya had his price at $150, and he was telling people he didn't want to charge money for his cards. He didn't want to charge very mm -hmm. much money. It's not that he, he doesn't make very much money, because he could No, a lot of them well don't make, make very much money. Ton of money off of his cards. So he ended up doing a live painting at mm -hmm. this event, and everybody else as well did a live painting. Right. For everybody else, they were allowed to have their live painting on an online auction. Mm -hmm. Komiya was not allowing people to even bid on his shit online. You had to be there in person. Mm -hmm. So for that aspect to be known, he's not trying to make money. 
That is not his sole purpose. Or so he doesn't. For, for or he doesn't say, have the backing to, to have say, that oh, happen. Poor Kamiya, he doesn't make much money. I'm not saying Kamiya directly. Nice, he's a very good artist. He could be way like I'm sure Pokemon doesn't do him justice. No, they but don't. Like out, I know, and I'm, I'm I'm sure they don't do any of their. And a lot of them get very well known for Pokemon. But they're limited on how they can make money on Pokemon. But like they're you, not allowed to sketch Pokemon. But if you start to look at the the incentive that people are looking at for Komiya's mm -hmm. artwork, they are no longer just looking at his Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. His actual artwork is being valued more than right. his Pokemon cards now. It's wild because now you can't get the shit. He's not even selling it to the public. Mm -hmm. You have to be there. So okay, now his so artwork, those, those, and even then, those 250 artboards. How much did you sell the uh, the white signatures for? 250. 250 artboards. Did you say 250? No, he had like but 13 the shikishi boards. He had like 13 shikishi boards. Okay, how much did they sell for? He was selling for 150, yeah. Okay, yeah. 150, not yeah. 250. He wasn't trying to make money. I okay. was trying to make money, okay. not him. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So, so, so how much did you sell the, the signatures for, the white ones? Uh, I sold, the, the least amount that I sold them for was to really good friends, right? I sold a couple mm -hmm. of them for 2,000, and that was only to my good, my best friend. Like, it was either two or 2,500. But the rest after that was 3K. I sold okay. 3K and then I ended up selling one for 3.4, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So, so I made a lot of money off of it. His them. signature the value on a Pokemon good. card. Yeah, it's pretty good, but, right. but it could have been more. If I would have just held out, right. that's why Nishida is so expensive. It's because she only has so many signatures. So you don't see the problem with that? That like what? you're reselling that that was supposed to be not resold? For that uh, much money, and no, he's selling, it, yeah, he's selling I mean, boards I mean, for 150 dollars. It was not supposed to be sold. I mean, to, do you think he's selling the him, boards yeah. for 150 dollars because he, I don't, he can't get more money for them? I don't give a fuck what he's selling his shikishi boards for. I don't. <laughs> I do. I do. I think I think that's I think that's disrespectful. I mean, like, that's yeah, even, that's that even worse. is disrespectful. But right. It's, but the fact of the matter like, is, shame like, on Pokemon Company for not letting these artists make more money to do with like I being mean, my, in Pokemon but price, like also his price for his art is obviously yeah. going to differentiate from how because he could draw that shit yeah, every day it, if he wants to it's I supply mean, sure. and demand supply and demand sure. right so they probably get more appreciation for the Pokemon stuff and he does this as a favor but that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying a, this he is does it as a favor that, that is a turning point though right like, like his art is actually no shame on Pokemon for it what do you mean shame on Pokemon shame on Pokemon for not letting them make money off of Pokemon or being um, a Pokemon I, artist. I think I think um, I think they have a fair ground. Uh, Pokemon does. They are their characters. Yeah. But I do right. believe I do believe Pokemon should. But to offer it a them, certain extent, yeah, there should be them, some kind of contract yeah, or like should, there could be something of like if it's a Pokemon organized event, they can make these artists make money. Like even yeah. Arita. Arita is the most well known yeah, Pokemon yeah, yeah. artist. And at this point, and at this point though, he, Arita's done enough signatures right. to where he don't give a fuck, right? He don't care. He uh, I lives mean, he put very out. modestly, and he. I mean, he. he in in he respect to like what he's doing. Okay, so, what, sure, through, yes. Through panels will, that through I, know, like, I know you panels, were at panels yeah. too, right? You were at panels yeah, when we ta yeah. they talked about it. Mm -hmm. Because I remember seeing like a little Snapchat or some shit where you were there yeah. while somebody was asking Arita if he really cared about reselling cards or something like that. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Arita said, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the person who owns the card right. is the one that will cherish it the most, right? No matter what they pay for right. it. So at the end of the day, like I feel like if maybe Tomokazu was to do a couple of public signings and see right. how people cherish him and his art, like maybe he wouldn't care as much for the. But I feel like either. is he gonna is that like is that gonna persuade him? Somebody that's I'm going to like to have personal him. autographs I'm that they're selling. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to persuade nobody. I'm no. just saying maybe I'm just if saying he like, had that outlook. I'm just saying there's like there's a whole different level of respect that the artists kind of like listen, need or brother. deserve or listen, they want no. in Japan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't given. No, they it got wasn't, ripped. It they got ripped given. off. It wasn't given. So I, they I, got ripped off. You made all that money off of something that was a gift that was not supposed to be resold. That wasn't supposed to be anything like that. That is correct. That is right. Correct. I made money off of something that was not supposed to be resold. And so, like, they're very sensitive with that stuff. And this is like the worst possible scenario. Yeah. Where something so, that's gifted so to I somebody. Will say this. I will say this. I did not know how sensitive they were about this stuff. Right. I would like. You say I'm the autograph king but, and all this but other no, stuff. No, no, no. You but, get into this stuff, okay, that's so, the first thing you learn. So, no, no. So That's I, the basics. That's no, a 101. Brother, I don't ask a lot of people that are entry level mm. autograph collectors, bro. That Like entry level that come in and they're mm. like, oh, I like autographs. I would like to get a couple. Mm -hmm. They don't really look into the lure of it. They don't. Right. But if you're selling them, you probably should. I mean, not time, nine so times you, out of ten, do you, you, regret you don't it? really look into the lure. If, if you're selling you, this, you, if you're you selling regret, a regular card, it doesn't sound like you do. I'm from what? But do you regret? The, the whole Kamiya stuff? No, hell no. So you don't, no. you don't, you I don't, don't regret it. I don't regret selling cards at all. No, or wiping them. No. No. And I would do it again. 
That's would embarrassing. You read it? That's embarrassing for you. For no. You, for you, you're absolutely embarrassed. Not. You're embarrassed for me, I guess. I, I am. don't know. Like, I, I don't am. care, brother. It's like, so disrespectful. Brother, like it's the level it's of the disrespect. Biggest, okay, so so I, I feel like you, you you're, you're ruining Everybody you're ruining has their it for opinion, so bro. many people. Everybody like, has their it's opinion. It's ridiculous. Brother. You Everybody don't understand it, right? If, if I'm ruining it for everybody else, mm -hmm. though, you got you still have to see the aspect. Like, Jimeno still said, "Don't sell these." You know what I mean? It doesn't right. matter. There's no, there's no justification whether yeah, it's free or not, yeah. right? Whether it's free or not. Yeah. There's no justification. It might be more. There's, it might be more shitty. There, it might be more shitty. It's more in your shitty yeah, when they say opinion. when it's free and but you're doing it, and level, someone pretends the, to be your friend. But the yes. level of shit that it is doesn't matter. Whenever you're still committing the same crime, right? If if you consider it a crime, you you do consider it a crime. No, I think That's it's just I think it's just ten saying, times more shady scamming. when someone's. You're saying I'm scamming. That's just considered you a scam crime. You scam the artist. So yeah, so when you consider it considering it yes. a, uh, a crime, then yeah, it becomes more like shady if you paid for it and you're selling it. But at the same time, they know that they're signing two trainer it's, or this it's dumb shady shit. The artist, this dumb shit yeah. that like is like too red or too Pikachu yeah, yeah, yeah. or dumb shit like that. Like, yeah. but I mean, you don't even collect like, autographs. Like, like, I have autographs, but I get them in person. But but I mean, do you really like? Do you really? Would you go out and buy an autograph? I would not buy an autograph so secondhand. I, I would say no. that you are not like a true autograph collector then, because most autograph collectors right. they buy autographs. I'd rather have it in person. Uh, amen. Yeah. I feel you. And right. like a lot of other people do too. Right. They do, they, they, yeah. they and share if you can't opinion. make it, maybe a friend gets it for you and that's okay. You think that's okay too? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but at the same time. And it's time, personalized to you if they want to personalize it, but it's up to the artist. Okay. Yeah. I, it's the same It's the same thing with anything else. Right. I, I did so, videos recently. So the, I don't so know if you saw them. No, I don't on the Art, videos, Art Academy. <laughs> so Art Academy, if you're going up to the seller and you're trying to get a good deal and you're trying to like suck up to them you're like oh yeah it's oh, I, it's for my personal collection and i'll that. never sell it i'll never sell it oh i mean i don't do oh that. please please give me a good deal i'll never sell it yeah, yeah I don't do that's that. shady yeah that is shady 1000 right so if yeah. you're saying hey give them to me for free i'm not saying hey like give your me friend for free. so rob did no we actually offered him money okay and he denied it he denied it he said the only for your personal collection free so he was doing you a favor and you fucked him I mean, we offered to pay him, but yeah, I mean, if you want to say that. Right. So did you pay him afterwards? We didn't pay him, no. We did send him a gift. Him? I sent him a gift. Did you send him? What yeah. did you send him? I sent him uh, a bunch I'm of American because... candy. No, I, yeah. I sent him a bunch of American candy, and after a video came out, this is what I did. I sent him a bunch of American candy. I sent him a... Only after my video, because you were feeling guilty, or...? No, because he, he wouldn't have known beforehand, yeah. So, I mean, like, okay. I wouldn't have had any reason to express myself, and it wouldn't have, like, caused any tension. Did you send it from... I sent it. Own? I sent okay. it. Yes, myself. Yes, okay. I did. So he didn't know beforehand that you were receiving cards. No, he didn't. Because they were addressed to Rob. Yeah. And then you wiped them. Yes. And you but, said like, "Hey, sorry." So actually, so check this out. It was an apology. Yeah. So check this out. So there was there was a, a time where Komia we sent the cards, and Komia had the cards for probably about three months, right? And I had reached out to Komia and I had messaged him and I was like, "Yo, I was just wondering, my friend Rob had sent some cards, mm. and most of them were mine." And so I was wondering if you received them because we haven't heard from you. He never read my message. Okay. He never responded, nothing. But at the same time, was I was... Was the same contact method that Rob used? Yeah, yeah, on okay. Instagram. So I wasn't trying to hide the fact that, you mm -hmm. know, I was sending cards. I was actually wanting him to okay. know that I was sending cards. Okay. Because I was trying to get that Because they weren't coming too. back. Because you were trying to get them back and sell them. I, I mean... Mostly. No, I wasn't necessarily trying you to get them back to like sell them. You were worried about where your like, inventory was. Amen. And, yes. Yeah. I was mainly worried about my inventory. Yes. Okay. So um, that's that's what it came down you to. You didn't word it like that, but... But at the same time, uh, it, it was also like, you know, if I could build that relationship, I yeah. would, obviously. Just like you would, right? You would build a, a relationship with Komiya if you could. Right. Yeah, exactly. If I would. But yeah. I wouldn't fuck him over on But I mean, if, if I was to be able to build that relationship I, with him, maybe be, it might have been different. It wouldn't be profit motivated. Maybe it might have been different, though, right. if, if I talked to him. You know what I mean? Maybe okay. I, I could have been friends with him and not had that motivation. Even if you wanted to do it on the business side of things, yeah. and you did it in an honest way, and you said, hey, I can make this much money off your autographs, yeah. and he was okay with it, which he sounds like he wasn't because he said, no, don't pay me anything. Right. If you said, hey, I can make money off your autographs, can you sign things for me? Let's make an agreement. Let's sign something. What artist is going to do that? I mean, they do it all the time if they do signings and stuff like that, right? Maybe do it like a, a nobody or whatever that's just like sending them a DM. Maybe they don't, but... No, they don't do that. <laughs> what do you mean? Like some kind of flipper? Huh? What do you mean? Some kind of flipper. Oh, I thought we were just flipping stuff. 
No, look at that. This is straight up personal, baby. Right. Yeah, I bet you wish you had this. Maybe not because it's tainted. My bad. Because mm -hmm. it's tainted. Rather not. <laughs> it's alright though. A lot of people, a lot of people that were mad about it were the people that had tomokazus. And I feel like the main reason that they were mad about it was the fact that I, I was out here ruining the market. Like, because they were out here, I'm sure. Right. If, if they still but, have But that's them. the thing. Like, what would ruin the market more than just people saying, like, hey, if you're friendly with him and you ask him nicely, you can send it to his P.O. box and he'll like, I could sign tell it you. and send it. I could tell you what right. would ruin the market more. What? You want me to tell you? What? Me going out and doing exactly that. Right. <laughs> and, then, and, and, and trying then to selling... profit off of it. No, no. Instead of, like, just telling people, hey, hey, no, it, if you're really, this artist no, is it, amazing, how about, like, feature them in a video. Say they're artists, this artist, amazing. No, they that, do amazing I'm work. actually starting a company. Shout out Rare Candy Clothing. That's what I'm doing with fan art. I'm Are shouting out every piece of fan. Is it fans. is it Rare Candy like Rare Candy the Rare TCG candy player or like no, Rare candy or the like mystery box guys? Neither of those. Rare candy like clothing. Leonhart? No, like me, bro. Okay, so yeah. it's different, but it's got clothing on the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's me. That's, <laughs> Are you worried about Pokemon being upset about it? I'm not worried about shit, bro. I mean, if it's small enough, they don't really care. But. I feel like you're more worried about all this shit than I am. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I just think I think you're a terrible so person, and you just like. I don't care what you think as far as Yeah, you're a I just like. Person, this is like there's better ways to make money. No, it might not make as much money, but like just so, throw, so just like the, the ethics, day, though, the ethics the are just day, thrown at the window. What you, what you tried to portray in your video was the right. fact that I lied about swiping the cards before I sold them. That was the that was the whole. Yeah, but I don't even know how much you told them. I'd love to talk to each and every one of them that they purchased one. Wait, wait, if you guys but are that out was there. The basis of your video, right? That I did not explain to people mm -hmm. that I liked them before I sold them, right? That was the basis. Yes or no? The basis yes of the no? video yes no was, the, was the fact that you fucked over a Kamiya. That was the the moral of the story. Okay, okay, so. Was don't fuck over an artist. Okay. You made a bunch of money off an artist uh -huh. who was in poor health. You and, and your you know. and your friend yeah. purchased them. We're told not to resell them. Yeah. You got them, you took them, you pretended you didn't buy them, but you sent them stuff in exchange, which is the same it? fucking thing. No, it's a trade, if anything. No, it's not a, it's not. If anything. It, okay, so it's a trade. A yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. If Camille considered it a gift, though, I can't wait. That's, that's not how it works. Yeah, <laughs> okay, for you. Anyways, No, in just ahead, in terms of, of legal ahead. means. Anyways. Right. So, so, the fact that you saying that I, I was scamming people because I did not disclose that I altered the card before selling them. That, you didn't mention that at all just now. Right. We're, I'm open to hearing that. You hid that from me uh, when I mean, talked I to you. I did not hide anything you from didn't, you. Well, you, you could have disclosed that at any point. It's been how long now? And then it all didn't of a sudden, matter if I disclosed it or sudden, not. All of a sudden, it's it like... No, nah, it didn't matter no, no, if I disclosed I would, it or not. Because if at if the end your of the buyers day, you, would like to talk to me and tell me exactly what you said... No, no. Because at the end of the day, you put that out there before you had that fact. You put it out there that I lied about that before you had that fact, which is the main reason people right. were looking at me as a scammer. Because a lot of people said, "Yo, I don't think you gave them all the details." I don't think you gave. I don't think you gave them all the details. If you would have just disclosed the fact that you altered it before selling it, nobody would really have as much of a hard feeling. And if they do, most of those people are going to be sucking the artist's dick. Those are the people that are really like all upset about this. So whenever you look at it. The video that you put out mm -hmm. said that I lied and was a scammer towards saying that I did not disclose the fact that I wiped the personalization off of yeah, these cards before right. I sold them, which is a straight up lie, right and, or and wrong? You didn't to PSA, and I don't know what you said to your buyers. But you said they're close friends of yours, so that you, no, maybe you I'm told saying, them the whole story. I'm, I'm not saying... Maybe you, they don't no. tell the whole story to the next now person. you're saying you don't know, but in your video, you said that I was lying to those buyers. Right. I don't right. know if it was DMs. Right? Probably. Probably. So, so I haven't rewatched really the video. That's like actually the end of the conversation. Right. Because I mean, I admit right. It's, o it's okay, you guys. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. Said, it's okay it. to fuck over but artists day, and ruin it for everyone I mean, instead of like everyone, everyone can get a signature. We're selling the cards. Right? So if you think I'm a shitty person for selling these cards and disclosing it, and the buyer knew that, and the buyer was okay with it, and the buyer was happy with their purchase. Was there only one buyer? Then, like, go ahead. You can have your three towards the um, ultimate Pokemon. Flute, I'm over here. Flute, I'm over here. This is this is us. This is a conversation between us. 
I want everybody else to know that whenever this guy comes out here and is blasting anybody on their on his platform where he's got YouTube, they deserve it. They 100% deserve say, it. I will say that you do put out some good. Does Blake sometimes. does Blake deserve it? Blake 1,000% de deserves it. Right. But you I, don't I, deserve I it. I called out Blake. I called out Blake. Does Logan like deserve it? Logan Paul, I don't know Logan Paul's situation. I can't say. Uh, you should pay right. attention just more like, to the market. Just, just like you. If you're going to full-time Pokemon, you should probably pay attention to, these, Bro, to your surroundings. I, I, I full-time Pokemon without having to pay yeah. attention to all the drama because the only reason it's you not pay, drama. The it's, only reason you pay it's attention shady to drama fucking is for views, people. Bro. You look for views. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sell Pokemon cards because you get views. If I wanted to make more money, I wouldn't spend time on this shit. For making up lies. No, I can go do a fucking day job that I had before this shit. Yeah, so you do do YouTube I, full time. And I can make do, way do more money YouTube on this. Do you do YouTube full time? Do you do YouTube full time? Yes. Okay guys, I want everybody to go full time. to Rattles. Go to Rattles YouTube and show him some love. He needs all the love he can get, guys. Go watch it's not all YouTube full time, but it's it's other stuff supplementary. This man, as many views as you can. Also, whenever he's not making a dramatic video, I want you to go watch some of his like his box openings or. His, I thought you didn't watch his, those. No, I, I want them to. I don't. But I want them to go watch you, his box openings, all his other content that's not. Drama. He didn't do research, guys. And he was please, upset I was doing research today when I was busy at the con. That shit is, and how desperate for views that shit looks. Like. I mean, if you want to talk about slimy, how's it, how's it I, think, desperate? I think the fact that you want to lie and say that I wipe personalizations and did not disclose it, yeah. I think that is slimy because you did not get the facts before you what said did that. I not, what did I not? What did I not disclose? Assumptions. Huh? I didn't hear you say a word about it. You posted all kinds of like signatures that exactly. were white. Exactly. You didn't hear a word. I, I and said other than that. like other so than sketchy why, DMs. So then why are you going? And to other tell than people? me digging up the cards before and after. So why are you, you going? Didn't, so, you didn't say anything publicly. So then, you're showing these things off, but you didn't say publicly. Hey, I wiped these. No. And by the way, my friend got them, but he wasn't supposed to sell them to anyone. But it's okay because I sent them some gifts in exchange. Because I, when I was posting them, I, I wasn't I, posting them for sale. Right. They were posted. That's it. I'm pretty sure you posted something about the, uh, what was the one that you botched up? What? It was a fire type. Yeah. You it's can been a while. And if you look at the eBay listing that sold, yeah. it, it says that the card has been altered on the eBay listing. Yeah. Nice. So I, I disclosed it. So so my basis, going so back to was that your friend? Was that your friend that purchased going, it on eBay? Going back to basis. Why didn't you go back and, and, this and purchase is, uh, it off eBay and uh, say the can I Can I avoid your question for a second so you can yeah, answer mine? So going back to my basis. Whenever you say that I am lying about these cars being swiped from the personalization without no. disclosing it to the buyer. No, you said that in your video. You right. said that in your video. You were hiding it from the public. But you had... Whether I, don't have, my, I don't have your personal talk, conversations. Bro, please, let me talk. Please, I'm trying to right. get it out. Go. So, so, so you're, you're my, repeating yourself. Though. Yeah, because you won't let me finish. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I did. No, you not. You, you've been just talking to your fucking phone for the last fucking 15 minutes. Okay, so so whenever, let me repeat myself yeah. one more time and let me finish, please. So <laughs> okay. whenever yeah. you said that I lied about wiping the personalization to, before I sold the card, right? You lied about that. You said that. You're not disclosing you, information. You did not. You did not have information that I was actually selling those cars Were any without of your buyers disclosing, upset? right? Did you have that information? Did you have solid information that I was lying about? That? I did not have your private conversations with your buyer, no. Okay. So, so what what led you to actually put that out there? What, the, I, what the, actually led the you fact to put that, that out? The fact that you have deleted and hidden many pieces of information what, based on the fact that that they were that wiped. Out? All the pre-signatures, pre why didn't you show before and after and show that you wipe them on your on your social media and on your posts? Because and that's on the no eBay one's listing. fucking business how I do it. Because It's offer no a, one's business? No, because I it, offer a service. Full, I offer a service. That's full how disclosure. Do I do it? No, I'm, it's, what's full disclosure is I'm taking off And if the you're car. selling on eBay, you messaged someone on eBay and told them that it was altered? No, it was in the description of the card on eBay. And it's sold on eBay? Yes. And look did at you, this, did if you, you tell them? look at the description. Did you tell them? Yes. That's like people, you can put something on eBay and be like, not a real booster box, just my butthole, a picture of my butthole. Yeah, you can. But I mean, it was in the description. Right. The buyer, That was at the buyer's yeah. discretion. Okay, so it's the buyer's fault that you didn't If he bought it without there. knowing and he didn't read the description, right. it's always the buyer's fault. And you didn't tell him about the whole situation where you weren't supposed to sell it. Um, no, that was not that was not part of the description at all. Hell no. Right, no. I mean, of course. Why was that? Be, why, what? Because that's important information. That's that important would, to you. No, no, no. That, that would make someone not want the card. Exactly. So why would I advertise that? 
<laughs> it's the well, same reason. Why no, would you, no. why would you show flaws on a card? Like, are you gonna take the picture in the dark of a card because of scratches on it? No, I mean, uh, of course I'm gonna show right. flaws of the card. The condition of the card is one thing. The history of the card is another. Mm -hmm. You're, that's two different things. Right. The so history has, of the card is it, not. If it has a shady history, I think you should disclose all of that. If the card is stolen, yeah, I mean that's shady. Mm -hmm. But but at the end of the day, like the card was mine. It was yours, but it's not yours anymore when you sell it to someone else. Yeah, no. I, and even if and it's your friend, happy. and even if it's if, if it's your friend and they're happy, they're not going to disclose that on the next sale. I mean, I mean, I probably, mean, unli probably very not. unlikely. Probably not. I right. Mean, so then there's my video, and people can learn about what the history mean. was I of mean, the card. They can, they can learn about the history, but that, right. whatever so they learn. If, if you want to show me the entire history of the card, no. you're welcome to do so. We can go start to finish. We can go every single DM with Kamiya between you between fucking Rob the lying motherfucker he's every a single one of them. He's, he lies he lies man he's a bad liar he can't he, he lied to you even, we were trying to cover some shit up to, to him yeah obviously. yeah of course you were trying to cover shit up yeah we don't you, we you were guilty throwing, we don't want you him throwing out all this information you, that we you had like, these like he, human reactions he, that you just because, need to embrace everything that he wants to put out there is to paint a picture of us as terrible people whenever every single person out there that mm. buys and sells autographs does the same thing there's so many people out there that are doing the same thing that aren't getting uh, YouTube okay videos. i mean i don't sure. understand show me I don't, I really show don't. me them go on ebay dude go on ebay and look at all the last souls right. go, go follow them right like straight up camilla signatures how many Kamiya signatures are listed so on eBay? So it's only it's only two Kamiya. It's only two Kamiya. If you're buying Yours? selling signatures, fuck it, dude. You're good. You're, you're, it's not for sale, right. but you can still. How do many it are white? If positive. they're white, they should be deactivated. I don't care okay, who. Okay, yeah. If they're white, they should be deactivated. I, I don't give right. a fuck about that. But whenever they say it's authentic, it's authentic. So whether it's deactivated or not, you can look at the card and still know that it is authentic. And you go on the website. Also. To be, uh, to be frank, anyone that's buying one that's deactivated, yeah. make sure when you're buying a, a graded card, if it's deactivated, you're not getting a refund. PSA does not have to refund you anymore. Really? No. Based on, oh, because it's they, deactivated. Because it's deactivated. Amen. So if you purchase it, it's deactivated because uh -huh. it's fake, because yeah, it's yeah, fake yeah. stamped, because it's wiped. Right. If you purchase it, you're not going to get that same eBay guarantee. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But if you didn't purchase it, if you, you graded if it you yourself, graded it yourself, yeah, then you'll no get a stopping. refund on the grading piece. Yeah. You're not gonna get the full value of the card. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good information. That's good information. It's pretty important. Yeah, that's good information. And when you're dealing with stuff that's like that sketchy and altered, and yes, you're gonna say fuck PSA, like they graded it. It's their fault. I mean, they're gonna, I'll say they're this. gonna see it I'll a different way. If, if I ever sell a card right. and it gets deactivated and the buyer is, is worried about that fact right. and they would want to refund, gonna reimburse them I would reimburse in, them. In full? I would reimburse them in full, yes. Okay. 1,000%. I what have if no they, problem What if they want it before it's de deactivated? If they, if no, they learn that like... No, no. No, they, they would they, not If they learn stuff that you didn't tell them about it? Uh, I mean... If so they, if they watch my video and they say like, okay, like, come here, nah, you wiped it... Nah, I'm not going to have no remorse for that, no. Nah. Actually, right. Because I told them, uh, I'm going to tell them beforehand whenever I sell them the card. Right. The card's except, not for for that you, except for the, the card's not for resale. The, that Comia told me that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that's always a. That's always a, a. So it's not for resale from you. So that's like a. That's your. I mean, like, that's. I'm a, that's no, 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 no. It's out? not for resale from Comia. That's what I tell them. Yeah. So I mean, everybody knows that stand up. Mm -hmm. But that's not like not for resale from you. What do you mean? I mean, they can still do whatever the fuck they want, no matter what anybody says. Mm -hmm. It's not against the law. Right. Yeah. So it's not against the law for them to like expect a refund from you. I mean, no, they can they can expect whatever they want. If I, I right. mean, at the end of the day, like, yeah. If I mean, it, it's just the same thing. Like, if something's stolen, well, if something's okay, like so weird here, or like altered so or whatever. The thing, here's the thing. I don't like, just if, sell to anybody. If, okay? Yeah, right. I if, don't. You, if someone I, I altered a card, whether if it was not a signature, if they altered the card themselves, if they trimmed it, if they flattened it, whatever they did, maybe they marked it up cleaned up some like blue on the back side of it. I don't agree with that. Right. No. Same thing, right? No, so definitely altered. not the same it's thing. It's altered. The card is altered instead no, of the signature. No, I'm not trying to better the card in a right. fact of like adding to it. You're bettering the auto. I'm for not monetary, bettering the auto. For, why, why not just leave it on there? Why not leave like because nobody, Rob because Divin or whatever the because, fuck his last because name because is? Because Rob Divin is not the owner of the card anymore. Yeah. That's why. Cool. Yeah, cool. So they should have got it. Should response, they they, they should have got. They should have got it themselves. Hey, round of applause, Chad. Round of applause. <laughs> Go ahead. 
don't turn them away every time we, we want to no, make I a point there. No, I want to talk to them every time. Every time right. I want to talk to them. Talk to them that way, though. Don't tell me what to do. Or I'm talk to me. No, you can look I'm, at you can I'm, look at me. I'm conversating we're having, with you too We're having life. a com we're having a conversation if you want good here. Content, get your content, brother. But I'm doing my thing right now. If you want to talk to me, we can talk. No, we're if talking. This is a conversation me, between you don't us. Have to talk to me because I'm straight up putting everything out on one as as it is. Right. And you're trying to twist words and make it seem uh, like... I don't know. Like, you you like wanted to embarrass every, yourself last night I mean, a little bit. I didn't want to embarrass myself. At you the did. End. You so, did. So here was what it was. I, I Maybe it wasn't it. intentional, but you did. No, it, it wasn't intentional to embarrass myself. But this guy this guy over here, I had to get it off my chest. So I came in here in front of everybody right. and was screaming at him, put my finger in his face and told him <laughs> how much of a pussy he was because he uses his platform where nobody else has a YouTube platform to be able to get those views to rebuttal or even give their own honest side of the story right because right. there's only three sides of the story right you haven't the, how many followers do you have on instagram side, and then you, the you can tell your instagram followers that like i'm wrong what do you right? mean you already you, admitted that you have a platform you already admitted that you can make a youtube channel if you want it's okay so. i i can tell yeah. my platform whatever but i mean at the end of the day you already admitted that you were wrong I didn't admit I was wrong. I said I didn't see the the messages between you guys. No. I already know what okay, was said. So, so he said he lied. Based but he's on not wrong. every other example. No, he said he lied. But I did not lie. You guys, didn't lie. You're gonna twist my words. You're gonna gaslight. Uh -oh. Gaslight Central How here. How about twisting your words? That's, that's all you have. Did you not lie? Did you or did you not lie? Gaslighting is all you have. That's all you've been doing is gaslighting. What are you talking about? Gaslight that's all Central. you do. I'm gonna, you had I'm every gonna... opportunity to tell me what happened. I and have you're like, been. oh, I'm transparent. I'm transparent. I have been telling Rob, you. Rob is transparent too, but the two I of you are fucking lying little bitches. You, I literally told you how I got the cards, yeah. how I ended up sending them to Comia, yeah. when I found out that I wasn't supposed to sell them, mm -hmm. when I sent them, and then how I still sell them, sold them afterwards. Like, I don't understand what right. I'm lying about. But what am I lying about? You were hiding information from your buyers. And it was bad information. What information? The information that came out in the video. What information? What the information did I lie the, about? The fact that you got them from somebody that was in poor health as a gift to someone else. And no, then you were wiping the signatures. No, I did not lie to them. I told them that I yeah. got them from, uh, obviously, Comia signed them. Why, why would you not just ask Comia yourself to get some stuff to you? Like, I you're did. Like, you're always like, oh, their personal collection, their personal collection. When did I say, oh, their personal collection? Why, why didn't Rob be like, hey, I have this buddy of mine and he would love to have them in personal You said you, you, said you I wiped mean, them I was for hoping that he did do that, no, honestly. No, no. You said, I will. That's why I reached out to Comia. You said you wiped them. I mean, it was it a lie what do you when mean? You, you, you said I'm talking that about this was before we even got the cards. That's why I right. reached out to him. I did reach out to uh -huh. him myself. You but think you, I didn't? Right. <laughs> like, come on, man. But you said they were personal collection. Still over here making You said they were personal collection. Huh? You're like, oh, I wiped them, but it was for personal collection. But I, I yeah. just happened to sell a couple. No, well, okay. So, so after I wiped the cards, I fucked a couple up, right? The charming yeah. you said was smudged, right? Yeah. So after that was I terrible. So after I fucked a couple of, I was like, yo. I'll keep the really good ones, and the ones I fucked up, I'll go ahead and let those go. You know what I mean? Because right. I mean, I have better copies. I have better arts that are not fucked up. So I mean, it was it was kind of a no-brainer for me which ones I was going to sell at that point because I didn't want the ones that were as fucked up. Amen. Go ahead. What else you got? I don't I don't know about that. All so if you I, if I you want, didn't mess I any wanted... of them up, you would have kept them all. Say what? So if you didn't mess any up, you would have kept them all? I would have kept most of them. I probably still would have sold a couple, yeah. I was going to say, because no, yeah, you I said earlier would, that I it was probably, it was a financial investment. You were waiting them. It was, when you said it, you were waiting for them and you messaged them about it? it's a financial investment overall. Right. Even, it, but, even if I kept them until I died. Yeah. But <laughs> it, it wasn't a financial it. investment because you didn't pay Rob. There was no financial investment what do you mean? there. I bought all those cards. I spent $1,200 right. on, right. so on the special card. On the special card, one alone. It was a payment to Rob. No, not to him. I bought the card. But did you, was it no, a business expense? No, I bought expense? my card. That's my card I bought. Is it on your taxes? What do you mean? Did you, Why are you asking that, about my taxes, bro? Are did, you the feds? What's good? Did, Come so, on, bro. Who was are that, you? Was that, was Get that, the fuck out of you here. You say you do Pokemon full time. He's over here asking about taxes. Was that a purchase? Was that a purchase? What's up? Was that a purchase, a business purchase, to send him the cards? What do you mean? No, it was not a business purchase. So I don't have a, a business. It's it all me, bro. I don't have an LLC. If you want to sue me, sue me. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't sue anyone. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, I'm glad we cleared. I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm glad, what do you mean, I'm sure? No, I, what I'm saying is, I'm sure that because of the fact that, like, I'm, I'm glad we cleared. Why the, the fuck air. would I? Why would I? What am I going to sue you about I'm being not a scammer? About that. No, I'm not worried about that. I don't care. You can't sue me for anything. The only thing you can sue me for is the fact that I threatened somebody else. I didn't even threaten you. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know it's okay. You, you know better than to threaten me. <laughs> Idiot, dude.
right. So, so what else do we have to clear the air about, please? I don't. We're. I think that's pretty much it. That's you kind of talk. Unless right, you'd yeah, like to, know, if you'd like to show me. I'm actually reading comments now. I haven't read comments the whole time. Read some comments. I really want to know. Read the good ones. Read them out loud for us, please, instead of responding. Nah, to I don't care about your views. <laughs> you want to call it? You can. Yeah. If you want to. You can still keep your keep your live ass yeah, over I'm, here. I'm, I'm You're I'm, done. I'm actually responding to my my chat. Okay, if, if you, you can talk, do your you, you can do a solo show if you want. Right, I'm Take care. Peace out, bro. Remember, Scott. guys, don't buy autos from this fucking DJ. Yeah. But I mean, I got some more hominos today. If you want. I would love to hear from yeah. every single one of the people that uh, purchased two people. Bro, I sold five cars, five 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 five, five. Comias, five comias, and then I altered. Okay. I, I altered about eight, the, the people eight that Aritas purchased the that five. Purchased. Okay, the people that purchased Aritas so and or Camillas. 13? 13 cars that I altered the, and sold. And, 13 and, people and, or 13 cards? No, thir actually, well. How many people? 12 people. 12 people. Okay, 12 people, people. 12 people. The 12 people that purchased from this guy would love to talk to you. I just want to know what he said to you. But at the same if time, if he disclosed the entire but at story, the same time, nobody's gonna to want to talk to you because you're out here blasting motherfuckers for no reason. So yeah. If anybody you talk to, they're gonna be put on a hot list because of you. If, bro, if I'm telling you right now, PSA if you, put you. If it's not deactivated, even if it's deactivated, I promise you, I'll talk to PSA. We'll fix this fucking nonsense that's going on here. Yeah. So that's exactly why they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Exactly what I want to talk to you. You're on right. the opposite side of You're going to get a fucking deactivated cert and you're going to fucking end up on a shit list. You're dealing with a fucking shit bird. Don't you're fucking deal with the fucking idiot. Shit list, chat. No, it's already going to be deactivated. They should be all deactivated, even the authenticated ones. Yeah, PSA yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Have a good one.